Hello everybody and welcome to the third video about uh, my new brush category uh, using thick paint in Corel Painter. The brush category is called Skip's Ultimate uh, Thick Paint. Uh, by the way, you can, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but you can, you can download these for free at my blog. And also, they, I'm working in Painter 2020, so they're only compatible with Painter 2020 and whatever new versions come out as we go. But uh, brushes are not backwardly compatible. So if you're only working in 2019, you'll have to upgrade to 2020 to be able to use these brushes. Sorry about that, but I, I keep current with it and... and um, I really like 2020 a lot, and I like the uh, the way the brushes are behaving with the new performance. Okay, so in the last video, we we finished with 004 soft bristle round, and we're going to go to um, 005 thin soft bristle flat. Okay, again, we've got... Um, uh, it's a thin application. It's soft bristle, so it's not going to have a lot of linear quality to, uh, you know, little lines inside of the stroke. And it is a flat brush, so you can twirl it and do all those kinds of fun things. And we'll select a color and do the... Um, uh, playback stroke and what you can see is that it does have some blending capability when it goes over a previous brush it's a little bit thicker now we're beginning to get a little bit of a thicker edge to it as you can see uh, and it's really I you know it's a nice smooth a brush that will give you a, a little bit of thickness. And if we go to the next one, which is six wet long bristle. Now, again, this is going to be a wet brush. And if it's long bristle, it's going to give you some, uh, you know, variation in the stroke itself. The stroke is going to give you these lines because it's got that long bristle and um, not only that but you're going to get a mixing that is kind of different see how it mixes with itself it covers but it does mix see this is what that looked like and it picked up that lighter color and turned the whole thing lighter if we go next to the blue we get the darker color and then that blue color starts coming in. Let's see if we can show that a little better. So we've got that brown. If I bring in the blue and if I bring in the lighter color, you can see that it mixes. And this is very painterly like. Um, and let's go to number seven, which is wet short bristle. So it's going to be the same thing as this, but because it's a short bristle, it's going to have a little less um, clumpiness to it. It's going to be a little bit uh, flatter. But again, these brushes have more uh, paint added to them, and they're very uh, wet. Now, for my money, this looks more like a sergeant brush than our sergeant brush does. Sergeant did these brush strokes that uh, were very obvious and um, they were very wet and they were slightly thick. They weren't real thick, but they were th slightly thick. So for me, this looks more like a um, sergeant brush. Let's go to number eight, which is dry, stiff bristle. Okay, now we're coming to the first dry brush, and look at the difference. See, um, it didn't give me this long, uh, flowing uh, brush stroke. Now, if it 
touches some other paint, it will give you a longer stroke. See how that, that makes the brush wet now. When you put it into wet paint, it gets wet. And so it's, it's, it's uh, dry and stiff, and it's stiff, so you're going to get real linear quality. But if you're working uh, where it's not on wet paint, see if I do this down here, I get that. If I do it up there on top of paint where it's wet, you get more uh, of the brush, uh, more of the paint go uh, flowing out, so to speak. Okay, so this is a dry, stiff bristle. And you'll have to try these to see how they work and uh, where you'll want to use them in uh, your particular workflow or painting style. Okay, let's stop and we'll come back and pick up with brush number nine. Bye-bye.